the fall decorating fun begin. When you see this room, the next time it will be transformed into a lovely fallified paradise, as I would like to call it, because I am all about the fall colors, in case you didn't notice. Like, this is my kitchen, which I'll show you more with that later. But I am definitely a fall colored, warm kind of colored girl, except for my bedroom is gray, but <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to show you once everything is all put together. And here is my decorated living room for fall. So I'll just do kind of a little quick walkthrough for you. Um, some things are still the same as from last year. I do not go and buy just all brand new stuff every year. I don't think most people do, but um, this I have had for years that I have hanging on my door. I got from Home Interiors years ago because I used to sell it. Um, so I actually have a lot of cute things from them still. And then um, I got this last year at Dollar General. And I think they have similar ones this year that I saw. Um, I like to put these bows on the curtains there. I don't know, it just adds an extra little touch. And so I think those are cute. And then I have these, actually, this candle holder here and this candle holder here are both from Home Interiors that I got years ago. Um, I already had these floral picks, but I got this little grateful, um, sort of like a milk jug kind of jar from Dollar General this year. And I think it was only like maybe $3. Um, last year I had a different color up here of the fall garland. I know it's a little hard to see because of the light behind it, but... Um, there we go. There's some little berries on it, pumpkins, squash, that kind of thing. And I just love how that adds. Please excuse my dirty windows. We've had a bee issue, so um, I was waiting for that to get taken care of before I tried to get out there because they were right by our porch here and I was not about to play that game. So yeah, our beautiful uh, view that we have of the barn across the street there, absolutely love it. And then down here, I have two candle holders that I got from Christmas tree shops a couple years ago. Um, I have this leaf garland from Home Interiors from several years ago. My little joy sign that my friend Jenny gave me it is always out, so I thought it looked cute on there. And then my little cherish sign that is always out. And then I put different um, magnets on it for the different holidays. I decided to go ahead and just put, usually I wait till closer to Thanksgiving to put the turkey and the pie out, but I was like, why? It's fallish. It's fun. <laughs> and so that is what I did. And then um, last year from Dollar General, I got this Autumn Blessings um, little lantern, that little Bless Our Home my mom got me for Christmas last year. Um, I will also be showing you guys this stuff at night, just to do without talking and to show it to you all lit up, um, just so you can see what it looks like at night. So then over here is where things get real folly. So I got this a few years ago when my husband took me away for my 40th birthday trip and then I also got the little um cotton picks that are in there and then this fall pick I got from Dollar General a few years ago and then um I got this from Dollar General also last year I think and this my mom got me for Christmas a few years ago I love that she does it sometimes um she'll do like you know because you can find past you know the season decor cheaper and then she'll give it to us for Christmas and I think that's awesome and so I love that little fence with the little thankful on it. It's cute. And then this giant acorn and um, pumpkin I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then here is my fall tree. So I had just put together some little glittery leaves into with this burlap bow as like a topping, a topping, a topper. <laughs> and then um, I do believe that the ribbon was also from Hobby Lobby. Um, the bows were. And these little bells, I don't remember where those are from to be honest with you. Um, I do know I got these big leaves from um, Dollar General. These I got from Dollar Tree, these other leaves. And so that's basically what the tree consists of as far as decor for that. Um, I got this Harvest Apple Cider Pumpkin Hay Rides Pie Family sign from Dollar General last year or the year before, I don't remember for sure. And then I made these little pumpkins with, they were the foam pumpkins that you got at um, Dollar Tree. And then I just wrapped them with um, fabric that I had and put like a little bow on that one back there and stuff and put little um, tree, you know, twigs for the stems. And then the, this little burlap tree skirt I got from Hobby Lobby several years ago too. So um, 
I had gotten this tree online. I couldn't tell you where I got it from now, though. But yeah, so that, let me show you that area kind of zoomed out here. So this is what that main area looks like. And I absolutely love it. Obviously, the colors of my walls and stuff lend very well to fall decor. And so I love that. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then over here, I just have this little pumpkin lantern thing. Again, I will show it to you at night lit up. And then um, let's see, I'll do a pan back around this way so that you can just kind of see the whole, yeah. I love that. Like, what a view, right? Uh, love it. And then over here, remember when I said, I told my mom if I bought um, anything fall decor when we went out shopping to slap me? Well, she didn't slap me, but this was the only thing that I bought. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I just thought it was a really fun, it's like, let me stand on the couch to show you and all my professionalism here. Um, so that is what that looks like. I just thought that was so fun and it went perfect right there and just adds a little bit of a fall touch to this area. Um, and so somebody just beeped as they went by. I'm not really sure why, but thanks. And then just over here, I just have these little pumpkins. Um, ah, shoot, I can't remember where I got those from. And this pumpkin spice and everything nice. Um, I got that from... I feel like I got that from Dollar General a couple years ago. That's what autumn is made of. So that is my living room. There's my ring light hiding back there. You weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> um, my living room fall decor. And then we will move on. I will show you it lit up at night. And then I will go on and show you what my kitchen decor is like. Now I'm going to show you how I've decorated my kitchen for fall. So we'll start over here with my dining table. This is a runner that used to be my grandma's that she gave me. Um, this is my grandma that passed away. Um, it'll be three years in February actually. And so that is something I love. There are several things from Christmas and um, Thanksgiving and Easter, or I mean fall and Easter, or whatever, Halloween, all that stuff that were things that my grandma gave me that I absolutely love and treasure. So um, that makes me happy. This is just a little thing I put together. My sister actually got me this for my birthday a few years ago, and then I just decorated it for the different holidays. So I have the little Happy Fall Y'all from Dollar General. Those little pumpkins, I do believe are from Dollar General also. There's a little um, towel that's in there that is also from Dollar General. And then I've got some little gems and pine cones. I couldn't tell you where those ones are from, to be honest with you. And then up here, I've got Live Simply and Be Grateful. That I actually got at Dollar General. I think it was like five or six dollars. I got that this year. Um, and then that sweaters and pumpkin spice lattes. Um, I got that a couple years ago. My husband and I got it at Christmas tree shops. So love that. Then up here on this curio cabinet, which was also my grandma's, um, I have this little fall bear with a little cornucopia and that fun stuff. And then I love fall most of all. And then just the little pumpkins in there. So that is kind of that whole general area there of the like dining area. And then um, we are 
staining our deck right now, so please ignore that. Um, I just put this Grateful Hearts Gather here, little guy there, so nothing super exciting. Um, let's see, what do I want to show you next? So right here, I just stuck a little little pumpkin there next to my diffuser. I have a lovely blend of orange, clove, and nutmeg going right now, so it smells nice and fall in here and um it's nice enough to have my doors open right now which i am loving and then um this was also my grandma's so i've had this for a few years my sister got me this cake stand um for christmas a few years ago and this is the same sister who got me the thing that's on the kitchen table actually and then um that little give thanks it's actually a candle holder um but i just have like these little bead things in it and some more of those little pumpkins and stuff and pine cones this, uh, the little, it's actually a candle ring that has this little corn and things like that on it. That was from Home Interiors from years ago. And then I've got just a fall little towel down here. And a fall rug right there in front of my sink. And then over here is my Keurig, which we, may, we basically use this for, um, like, hot chocolate or tea, things like that. Occasionally some coffee, but we drink way too much coffee to use a Keurig for all of our coffee. So I just stuck a little pumpkin here. I like to leave my little, it's hard to see it because of the glare, but Jesus and coffee mug that my friend Rena got me last year for our little 12 days of Christmas advent calendar thing. That's um, hot chocolate and marshmallows back there. And then my little, um, yeah, so I just stuck that little pick back there to add some fall. And then there's another one here with, uh, this is our happy place. Sorry, the lighting, it's kind of bad timing to do this. Um, and then this little dish that you can actually, they sell them at, um, um, actually this and this are both from Christmas tree shops. And they are, um, this is, you know, to do little loaves of little breads or something in. But I think it's perfect to put like my little fall teas in out on the, um, so they're like, they're easily accessible to use and it's like decorative and then I just have this little that's out because that's what I use when I'm drinking tea and so I just leave it out instead of taking it out every time and there's just a couple little pumpkins up there and then over here <laughs> okay story time so my husband has this really awesome espresso machine it grinds the beans does all that stuff and he just got it when we were in Kentucky. He purchased it um, and from Williams-Sonoma. And it was the only place you could buy it from. Well, we had some issues with it. And so he drove an hour to take it to a repair place. And they had it for a couple weeks. And we got it back. And the same issue started happening. So he took it back the other day. And they are actually sending us a brand new machine. Great news. Bad news is they're on back order. Because when we originally ordered them in or ordered it in July they told us it wouldn't be here till October and it came in August but so we're not sure what the um, wait time is going to be to get it back so our trusty bun is back in here for our coffee so um, all of these syrups and stuff are things that we use when we've got the espresso machine however you can still use them without an espresso machine but it's just not as good but so that is the story right there I have this little guy that I just <laughs> stuck these pumpkin flavored you know to just display them. And actually I found this at TJ Maxx, this Keto Pumpkin Spice Creamer. Oh my gosh, it's so good. We went through one and I went and found two more and I bought them both. So um, yeah, amazing. And then just right here, I've got, I just stuck on, um, I always have this welcome to our coffee sipping Jesus loving home sweet home little sign here. Um, but I went ahead and just stuck this little beaded garland thing I found at Dollar General the other day for $3. I just thought it was a cute little addition. So um, that is my fall decor that is in my kitchen. I like to have, you know, just fall decor everywhere. Obviously, I love fall colors. Look at my kitchen walls and the green curtains. And, you know, you saw my living room and the walls are brown in there. So, um, yeah, so actually so my kitchen just opens up into my living room like that so it's just our nice little cozy home and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing our fall decor and now I will go ahead I actually recorded it first but I'm gonna go ahead and show you at the end of the video here my how my bedroom is decorated for fall I hope you guys enjoy I can't wait to hear what you think I actually totally forgot to show you these by our um, basement stairs. So basement, the door to our basement stairs. So just that little grateful acorn, which I got at Dollar General last year. And I also got that fall sign at Dollar General last year. So um, now that is the end until my bedroom that you're going to see right now. 
And finally, here is just the little decorating that I have done in my bedroom. Um, obviously, I have this little organic pumpkins container down here. Container. Little bin. Local Farm Fresh. You pick apple cider. I just think it's super cute. I actually made that afghan several years ago because it matches the colors of my house. So I used to keep it out in my living room, but I don't really anymore. And it goes perfect for this decor. So that's where it is. Then I just have these little... Um, flameless candles but they actually are vanilla scented they smell amazing and just these little pumpkins thrown around on there just for a little something extra and then I just bought this bedding off of Amazon it's just the um you know bedspread and the shams there and it was like $25 so I wanted something I love my white um duvet cover and stuff that I got last year um when I redid my room I think I showed it um, but it is very heavy and too hot until the weather gets much colder. So, um, I just wanted something light and this is perfect. I'm so happy with it. And so then my little pumpkin patch, pumpkin samples, hay rides, um, pillow up there. And then just some fall garland. I like to just take some kind of a garland or something up around that picture just to add something for the season to that, um, area. If you remember before I had little sprigs of like flowers up there a white and a yellow one for summer and so then I just put that up there for fall which actually has you can see it it's got like little pumpkins and gourds and little berries and stuff like that so um just something simple there and so yeah that that is the highlight is the bed area that has that but then I also just have a couple little things over here. I've got these little pumpkins that I made a few years ago. And so, um, I don't know, I just thought they were cute to stick up there. And then the other thing that I have is, I showed this to you guys in a video that my um, friend Jenny had given to me when we were at camp. This adorable, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Every time I look at it, it makes me smile. And then she gave me this little pumpkin and it matches it. And I had set it here when we got back from camp and I just loved how it looked. So I decided to keep it there and I'm like, you know, that's cute fall for my room too with a little pumpkin there. So um, that is my room decorated for fall. So um, I can't wait to hear what you guys think of all of the decor in my house. And um, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.